The other day, I got back two rolls of film from my local photo lab that I shot on this lovely little point and shoot camera that I got in Tokyo. And I shot those rolls on the two cheapest available films that I can buy, Fuji Color C200 and Kodak Ultramax. And to be perfectly honest, there's not really any competition between the two. I have a very clear preference between the two and it's the Fuji color. I was actually really disappointed when I first saw the role of the Kodak images. My only previous experience with Ultramax was my first ever non-disposable roll of film. And well, I liked it back then, but in retrospect, I really shouldn't be trusting my opinion from seven years ago. Yet, I still went into shooting this role with a bunch of enthusiasm and optimism. And boy, oh boy, was, was that, that wasn't a good thing. You should never really go in with high expectations when it comes to film because it is it's film and film is very temperamental and now i don't really feel like shooting ultramax again at least for for a while but before i explain what i dislike about ultramax i feel as if it's important to mention that this video is entirely subjective it's all about my opinion and my opinion is ever changing especially when it comes with the art. As I've mentioned in my previous videos about film, I am still very new to all of this and actually the roles that I'll be featuring in this video are my 14th and 15th ever roles of film in my whole lifetime. So I'm definitely still learning the way of the negative and if I get anything wrong or there's just something you feel like I should know, please let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a chat. I'm here to learn as much as I can and I hope you can help me out or I can help you out. I don't know. I like photography and filmmaking if you can't tell. By the way, this is a new set. Um, it's cool. So yeah, on to my problem with Kodak Ultramax. I've been shooting for nearly eight years in total now and in that time I've started to develop my own sort of a style. I know what I like and I know what I dislike when it comes to photography. And that's where I have my problem with Ultramax. It's not an inferior film. It's just as crappy as any other cheap consumer grade film. My problem with it is purely aesthetic. And yeah, aesthetic is sort of a big deal. And I've always found that the best way to tell what a photographer's aesthetic is, is by looking at the Instagram feed. It's a wonderful treasure trove where you can tell what a photographer's been into in the past and what they'll be into in the future, as well as obviously the present. Which by the way, that reminds me, follow me on Instagram. This is what my feed looks like. It's it's nice. When it comes to my own images, I like a really sharp bite with low contrast and a lovely smooth curve throughout the luminance. I love shadows that flow with ease into the mids that then flow with that same ease into the highlights. The conventional wisdom surrounding color with Kodak and Fuji is that Kodak is pretty warm and Fuji's generally pretty well balanced. And from these two roles, I would definitely have to agree with that. But I'd also like to add that I found that Fuji is much less contrasty and more smooth. And yeah, just in case you forgot, this video isn't just me bashing on Kodak Ultramax. I am talking about Fuji Color C200. And we're going to begin showing photos now, beginning with my favorite photo from the C200. This is a lovely portrait of a friend of mine that I shot at Easter. He's face is filled with the built-in flash of the camera and I, I really like this image. Skin tones aren't entirely accurate but still good. It looks natural. Also despite being directly lit it's well balanced and has that nice mid-low contrasty look. It's quite nice whereas with the Kodak Ultramax roll in direct lighting here's what I got. I love the blue of the sky in this image and the deep green of the tree is quite lovely, but the shadows and highlights are just pushed way too far on the bricks. There's too much contrast for me. And yeah, I know I could easily change the contrast in Lightroom. I could edit this to suit my preferences, but that's not why I shoot film. I shoot film so I can avoid using Adobe software. But hey, maybe you're feeling a bit sympathetic for the camera. Maybe the metering was a bit weird because the center of the image is the sky and it metered off the sky. And maybe that's why the bricks don't look so good. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Look at this shot. Look at the highlights of those bricks and look at the shadows. It's the same problem. And the metering is right there in the center in an area where it's just too bright. It's contrasty as heck and I, I don't like it. And to substantiate that even further, this is a picture that I took in similar direct lighting conditions with the Fuji Color C200. Look at that, it's smooth. It's a lovely, nice picture of the local photo lab where I get my film developed. It's not too bright. The shadows in the foreground are nice. Nice and smooth. Versus yet again, the Ultramax in similar lighting scenarios. I just 
don't like that contrast. But I do really like the blues and the greens. The blues and the greens in Ultramax are really, really nice. But yet again, I'm after this kind of look and appeal. I'm not after this. And whilst it may seem that I'm making a complete fuss about nothing, I promise you that's not actually the case because look at this image. This photo turned out terribly specifically because of that contrast, but not just the contrast of the luminance, the contrast of the color really throws this image off here. In black and white with the same contrast in luminance, it'd actually be quite nice, but it's not all woes for Kodak. I actually really like this shot. The contrast of color in this image really makes it pop and the oranges with the green and the blue are just really appealing. But this image is one of the only two shots that I liked in that entire roll of 24, with the other being my absolute favorite from the roll, which is this one. This was taken shortly after sunset in a low contrast setting. It looked nice with really any other film and really any other camera. Don't get me wrong though, it is a beautiful image. I really like it. But to me, the beauty of shooting film is how it is unlike digital. And a big part of that for me is film's ability to shoot indirect sunlight and unfavorable conditions and make it look good. And with Kodak Ultramax, I sort of feel like I have to be shooting in good conditions, which totally differs from shooting with Fuji Color C200, where I managed to take practically the same type of shot that in the middle of the day, it was overcast that day, so the light was nice and soft, but it's really got the same type of feeling. It looks very similar, but really shows that it's a much more versatile film with its dynamic range. Film is expensive. The cost of processing alone is enough to make you think twice before clicking on that shutter and perhaps wasting an image. Even more so if you're to buy a film like Portra or Cine Still. Cheap film is great film because it allows you to take more risks and take more pictures. Not to mention that when it comes between C200 and Ultramax, you can actually shoot 36 images on C200, whereas Ultramax is only 24. Not only does the Fuji color suit my color preferences, but it also is about 34 cents cheaper per image. It cost me 69 cents per Fuji image and a dollar and four cents per Kodak image. Apparently pictures can tell you a thousand words. I don't know so much about a thousand words, but the words that these pictures from these two rolls have told me is that Fuji color C200 is the way to go when it comes to budget film. So yeah, those were my photos and my opinions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and please educate me and let's, let's learn about this all together. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button if that's something that you're into. If you're interested in filmmaking or photography in any way, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I make quite a lot of videos about all of these topics and I think my opinions are worth sharing. We just hit 800 subscribers like a few days ago and that is really absurd when I think about it. So maybe you can be subscriber 800 and blank. Um, if you enjoy it. Give a normal thumbs up if you don't like smashing like buttons. I'm really bad at doing outros, so I'm gonna duck out of frame and you can <laughs> click on some of these links to watch some previous videos. I'll, I'll see you on Friday with a video. It's gonna be about filmmaking and photography.